Do you think it's time for Sony to up the internal storage on PlayStation 5, noticing even as a more casual user of the console that space can fill up quickly? I'm not really an, uh, a sort of um, uh, casual user, but I am finding that it is becoming a bit annoying now. But then again, I get access to a lot more games than most folks. I, I kind of think it's all right as it is. What do you think, John? Uh, I mean, given that you can expand the internal storage, I don't find it to be a huge deal necessarily. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice if it was slightly increased with the size of games. I do find myself having to shuffle them around a little bit more. Absolutely. Like co yeah. Copying them off to an external drive, for instance. Uh, I hate re-downloading like 100 gigabyte games, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you had like an ultra fast connection like many people do, maybe it's not a big deal, but it is pretty time consuming for a lot of us. I'm assuming that there are double capacity uh, flash modules available that would enable them to double the capacity. Um, I guess it wouldn't be that expensive right now because um, no. the, you know those, those modules are seemingly collapsed in price over the last couple of years. But at the same time, I don't really see it as an issue because um, that same collapse in flash prices means that you can pick up M2 drives for like, you know, very, very cheap now, but yeah. I picked up a uh, one terabyte PCIe Gen 4 drive for like £30. Right. It's, it's not exactly an onerous procedure to install it. No. So I don't think there's any real need to up the internal storage on the PlayStation 5. And I think as a base amount, it's, it's okay. It gets the job done, right? Just slightly inconvenient if you start sort of ramping up your downloads, but there is a solution out there. And I actually think that, I think we discussed this on a direct a few weeks ago, but um, Sony's decision to go for off-the-shelf drives has actually turned out to be uh, the best decision, I think, in the long run. Yeah. Uh, versus the proprietary dri uh, actually, drives. Actually, it's interesting you mentioned that because this was the exact mistake that they made with the Vita, if you remember, yeah, where they went for absolutely. proprietary cards that were way overpriced. And I think that actually probably helped contribute to its death. So smart move to back away from that.